Let's talk about some homes on land for a little bit. We we talked about mm-hmm. it last week. Um, let's we talk give, about it every week. Yeah, let's give folks an, an understanding of what that truly means. Like when when you say homes on land, are we talking about homes on fifty acres? Are we talking about homes on like a little bit? Like what, let's, what does that let's, look let's like? Do, let's do something really quick. I rarely ever speak like directly to our audience like this. It's actually technically bad radio, but you know we do it every week around here. Take care of our people, no matter what. If you have any interest whatsoever now or sometime in the future in living on what I would call a really big lot, like half acre up to 20 acres, doesn't matter. Just you're not, It's not a farm and a ranch, but it's also not a normal yard. If you, if you have interest in doing that now or at any time, would you just text land to our, to our radio line? 214-310-0008. I just kind of want to take a little survey here. 214 310 Zero 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 eight. We're not going to send. We're not going to automatically reply with anything. There's no campaign set up. I'm just curious from our listeners uh, how many of our friends in the DFW area have an interest in this because we. This is an area we have specialized in for 15 plus years. You know, I live on a property like that. Uh, a couple of our team members do or or want to in the future. Um, Mace, that's that's what Mason's working. Actually, Mason's going to have a little bit of a working farm, so that's not technically what we're talking about. But the point is, um, this has always been a segment of the population uh, that has interest in this. I said that really awkwardly. There's always been a segment of the population that's interested in more space, more privacy, more freedom, more room to play, to work, to grow things, to you know, swim and recreate, and all those things, right? Um, there, there tend to be waves of interest, right? Depending on what's happening in the culture or the economy, right? So after Vietnam, well, really after the world wars, there was this kind of, um, so, you know, your contribution to the American society was to grow some of your own food because there were shortages and there was rationing and things like that. Men in the sixties and seventies, there were multiple times where back to the land movements were kind of the deal where homesteading as a true lifestyle approach became a big deal. We talked about this recently where there have been movements in homeschooling. There's been movements anti-school policy, anti-government policy, um, anti-work policy. You know, this isn't political, but these are the things that tend to cause these big movements. Well, COVID started another one in the middle of one that was already going, right? So there just seems to be a significant, um, nearly constant demand for these types of properties. And then there on top of that come these surges. In one of the more recent surges was COVID. One was, um, you know, a kind of an outcry of what are school boards doing, regardless of where your opinion is on that. That's just a reality. So as a real estate brokerage, as a company, we are getting a lot of these calls. Hey, where can I get an acre? Hey, where can I, where could I move that I could build a shop behind my house? Hey, where could I move that my parents could live with us on the same property in a second home? Uh, where could I live that I can have a pond or I could put in a well or I could do solar or I could raise, you know, like five chickens, not a working farm, but where, where am I allowed to do that? And so over the years as a company, that's become something that we're really excited about, passionate about, um, knowledgeable about, and we've had really phenomenal results. I looked the other day at our team numbers because of some marketing that we're doing. And um, it is 100% true in that focus area that we still sell homes over the average price and under the average time. 